Hi, free school friends. I am so excited that we get to do another virtual lesson. Today we're going to read a book called Giraffes Can't Dance. And then I'm going to give you guys some games to play with your mom or your dad or maybe one of your siblings. You ready? Let's first look at the beginning of this book. Let's look at the title. This word giraffe starts with what letter? Does anyone know what this is? This is a big G, 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 like Gordo Gorilla, or like our friend Gibby. How about this letter right here? Does anyone know what this letter is? This is our letter C, like Katina Cat, k, k, k. And how about this one right here? Does anyone know what this letter is? This is our big letter D, like our friend Decker, also like our friend Dee Dee Deer, d, d, d. So, giraffes k -k can't d -d dance. Let's see what happens. This is kind of a silly book, but I love this book. So get ready to listen good. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Oh no. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Let's look at all of these animals. What do they look like they're doing? It looks to me like they're laughing. Let's see what they're laughing at. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lion saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, all the animals sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Are these animals being a good, kind friend to Gerald? They are making him feel so sad. We don't want to treat our friends like that, right? Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept up from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing, and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. Have you friends ever been outside and heard nature make all kinds of music? If you go on a walk this week with your family, make sure you stop and listen and are very quiet and listen for the music of nature. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing around. 
What does it look like Gerald's doing? Let's read and find out. He threw his arms out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Does it look like he's having more fun now? I think it looks like he's really having fun. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing. Yes, I'm dancing. I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived with Gerald boogied on. And watching him, quite entranced, they shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we have ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. The end. All right, preschool friends, I have a couple games I want you to play with your parents. But first, I have a new letter to teach you. And this friend was actually in our book a couple times. It's an animal that starts with a zzz sound. Can you friends find him on this page? Which animal starts with a zzz sound? I hope you pointed here at our zebra friend. Because one of our zoo friends is named Zeke Zebra. And you know what? He's kind of tired. And so he says zzz. I want you guys to try it with me. Ready, get your hands and close your eyes like you're taking a nap and say zzz. The letter Z sounds like zzz. So, some things around your house that might start with a Z. Look, a zebra. You might have a stuffed zebra. And zebras sometimes live in zoos. Have you ever been to the zoo and saw a zebra? Look, there's a Z right there. Another thing that has a Z sound in it is a zipper. You guys have zippers on lots of your clothing and lots of you are very close to being able to zip by yourself. What do you think this is? I know it looks kind of like a cucumber or a pickle, but neither of those start with a Z sound. Can you think of something that looks like this that starts with a Z? This is a zucchini. Can you hear the z at the beginning of zucchini? And our last one, I know this looks like a letter O, but it's actually the number zero. Zero starts with a Z as well. All right, friends. I want you to play two games with your parents today. You ready? The first one is tic-tac-toe, and some of you might have played it before. But I want you guys to do the writing, okay? So I want you to make two up and down lines and two side to side lines so that it looks like this. And then you will get to take turns being an X or an O. You might need to practice writing X and O before you play the game, an X is one diagonal line and another crossing it in the middle. And an O is just like our circle. So when you play with mom and dad, you get to put one, an X or an O, whichever one you are, somewhere on the board. And then mom and dad will be the other letter and they will get to put one on the board. And you wanna try and get three of your letters in a row. Okay, now the next thing I want you to do, you will probably need mom and dad's help with, okay? I want you to get a piece of paper and have mom and dad write all the letters in your name, but a little scrambled up. So, my name is D E L A N G E. So if my mom or dad were writing this down, maybe they'd put 
the G here, and the D here, and an E here, and an L, and an A, and an N, like this. Now, mom and dad are going to call out letters, and you need to point to them as quick as possible. So if my mom called out the letter A, I'd go, there it is. Or if she called L, I'd point up here. So make sure your mom or your dad or maybe even a brother or sister helps you play these games. I hope you guys have lots of fun and I can't wait to see you and your Zoom calls this week. Bye, friends.